Hey ho potatoes, another Red Dead Redemption 2 online video is up for you today and I guess this weekly update came a little early together with the title update 1.14 which is exactly a day before PC release which is an interesting date but uh, nevertheless I guess we can dig into the Rockstar Newswire article and at the end I'm gonna tell you a little known secrets about the new title update which uh, small changes it made to the free roam. But let's start, like I said, with uh, the new legendary bounty and the Newswire article. In a past life, Etta Doyle trafficked in Vice, working as a procuress for Ladies of the Night. She went by a different name then too, Madame La Pearl. But La Pearl and her gang of discouraged women have since reinvented themselves as bandits, robbing stagecoaches and trains with a particular fancy from stealing from Leviticus Cornwall. Cornwall has grown wary of his fright being targeted and has snatched a plan to ensnare Doyle by spreading rumors of highly valued goods traveling by rail through Saint-Denis. The goods, of course, are fake, and Cornwall means to spring an ambush, wishing to distance himself and his company from the dirty work, Cornwall requires the assistance of qualified and experienced bounty hunters. Doyle and her gang are considered extremely dangerous, but mercy must be spared, and the target is required to be captured alive. Her identifying traits are a scar on her right cheek that she earned in a knife fight and the fact that she dresses in male clothing, though she will likely mask her face to conceal her true identity. This is very interesting and of course the first of his kind to be required to be captured alive and secondly that uh, she has some bodyguards that dresses exactly like her, so you will have to keep your distance and watch them carefully so you can identify her by the means she talks and when she gives orders and so on and so forth. Licensed bounty hunters can take on legendary bounty missions by approaching the nearest bounty board indicated on the map. A short while after completing a legendary bounty it will reappear to be played at an increased difficulty indicated by the number of stars present on the poster. For those who will experience Red Dead Online for the first time on PC tomorrow, connecting your Social Club account with Twitch Prime will get you the Bounty Hunter license for free. To ensure access to all kinds of future Red Dead Online benefits, make sure to visit Twitch Prime and sign up. All gunslingers who play Red Dead Online between now and November the 11th will be rewarded with a gift of 100 Red Dead Dollars and a free treasure map regardless of what platform you play on. The treasure map will be found at the post office or in your camp lockbox. All gifts will be deposited within 24 hours of playing Red Dead Online. And starting tomorrow, ambitious collectors who scour the map for a weekly collectible list consisting of the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands and the Absinthe will be able to cash in the Fortune Teller's collection either by visiting Madame Nazar or by mailing it via the post office. To learn more about the collector role and the frontier pursuits, visit the official Reddit online site. A selection of new emotes are now available for folk looking to express themselves on the frontier. Found in the Wheeler Rose & Co catalog, greet fellow travelers on the road with the gentle wave or show your appreciation for their efforts with the applause emote. Alternatively, give the thumbs down for cowpokes provoking your ire or use the hush your mouth emote to let your posse know you're taking a stealth approach. All Wheeler Rawson & Co club members who reach club rank 50 this week will also receive the gentle wave emote. The emote gift will arrive within 36 hours of reaching club rank 50 and can be found in the greet section of the emotes menu. So this is the free outlaw pass, you don't have to buy it, it's just the club membership which everyone has. PlayStation Plus members who play Red Dead Online will receive the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles tarot cards within 24 hours of playing Red Dead Online, all free of charge and ready to sell to Madame Nazar individually or as part of a lucrative collection. And for competitive players looking for a fright, this is your last chance to play the Fear of the Dark Showdown mode. Stay tuned to the newswire for more Reddit Online news in the coming weeks and head over to the Social Club events page for details on all current special events, bonuses and more. By the way, there is also some new um, clothing you can buy now, but as of yet you can only buy this within the browser catalog on your laptop browser or on your phone, whatever, but not in the game catalog or in the tailors. So this is very interesting, but 
especially the Union Cap, I know a lot of people will, will really enjoy. And let's get into the details of every new feature coming with title update 1.14 that I am aware of. So for starters, we have the option now to take off the secondary holster on your belt, which is very much appreciated by a lot of people, I'm uh, sure. And then we also, I think, have received a fix to the annoying camp bug. So the camp uh, should be now placed more regularly and also animal spawns will show up more often than before. Um, what else, what else, what else? I think we also got some new changes for the camp. So when you go to crypts, you have one more uh, one more button to press to get into the uh, things you can donate to him. So the first thing is you go to the recent satchel, then you have to press L1 on the PlayStation pad to go to the things you can actually donate to him. This is very interesting and also a good change is that all these feathers are now priced appropriately. Before it was always 0 0.09 per feather it doesn't matter what which one it was, but now it is uh, priced appropriately. You can get uh, for a Condor Feather 0 0.9 in contrast to the 0 0.09 from before. So these prices are now uh, how they should be. And that's a fine addition. Also, there's a new menu button when you go to the saloon to order drinks. You can now press the circle button to go back, which indicates that there might be more than just drinks to order in the future. But for now, it is just another menu uh, point, I guess. And uh, they are preparing probably for the next big update where they add a bunch of little stuff. But anyways, this title is a little more than just bug fixes that you might have not been aware of. So as always, like the video if you did, dislike if you didn't, and please tell me what about the video you disliked so I may improve upon it. And I know my English isn't the best, that's because I mainly do German videos and I do this English for the international audience on the site just to improve my English skills and also bring you the latest Red Dead Online news for a broader audience. That's it for me. Goodbye, good luck, and ciao. Boom, ba ba dum, boom, ba ba dum, bum. United potatoes, united potatoes, 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 united potatoes.